let's take a look at these assemble tools here quickly. Um, I'm going to bring up the tools palette here and we can uh, probably see the uh, assembly tools over here. And so there's a couple of these different new tools here. Now, uh, let's try and understand the logic behind these. Uh, firstly, you, you have to set up uh, uh, an axis or set up the assembly axis. What, what, so which one, is that the one I would use here? Assemble axis is the first one you want. All right, so let's say I want to align this cylinder with this cylinder. So uh, the first thing I would click is that cylinder and then click the center line. Correct. And, and then, then hit finish. Notice that the dash line is green. Okay, then I hit finish there, and then I did the same for this one. Correct. And then I select that center piece, and it becomes green. Correct. And then I hit finish. Correct. And then the second step is to? Is to go to the assemble by axis. Yes. Okay. And uh, I believe you want to click on the tool that you, or the object that you want to move first. Okay, so let's say I want to move this one. It's just beeping at me. Select an axis is uh, you know it might train. it might uh, be looking for you to select the axis itself. So try the middle. Uh, there, okay, I there see. Okay, then I select the axis. Right. And then I do. Do I have to choose the uh, or the destination uh, axis? Uh, I've got to move here, right? Yes, correct. Okay, so then I well, so then I click it there. There you go. Okay, so now it's uh, it gives me a distance, and then I can actually hit tab. Let's say I want to go in this direction a little bit. So yeah, I get notice it. you get a little dynamic uh, indicator of, of the distance there. Oh, I see. Okay, good. So let's just tab that in and type in 3 and hit enter, right? Correct. And then it lines up like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Why don't you undo this? Okay, so we'll undo the assemble by axes. And I believe our, our axes should still be intact there, so um, choose the assemble by axes. Sometimes try to be a little more careful which end you so, uh, choose on the side. Ah, uh, see, so, it's, uh, so it's very cri critical about whether you go to the top end of the axis or the bottom end. Yeah, so. and then in addition, if you go down into the uh, into the options there, the local options, I believe one of the options when you uh, uh, do this is, is turn over. Uh, I see. Okay, so then we flip it around. Correct. Um, no, I'm not quite sure. Um, well, you've actually got an angle field there, so the angle's not set to zero. I, I see. If that's that zero, to... then it lines up. If I go 90, then ah, oh, then we're going at 90 degrees. Yeah. So that's and then if I'm good. going at a zero, yes. Um, zero at 90. Then we a angle it over there. Uh, so that makes a huge difference, eh? Hey?